Hey guys, so today Grace is working on doing a calendar and she couldn't remember if June had 30 or 31 days. So I'm teaching her a trick that I learned in school um, and it's something that I wanted to show her as well. So make a knuckle. Show your knuckles. It's easier to use your other hand. Point with your right. Point with your right. January. February in between, March, April in between, May, June's in between, July, August, September, October, November, December. Every time you say a month and you touch a knuckle, January has how many days? 31. January has 31 days. February has how many? Um, That's the tricky one. Do you remember? 30? No. 31. No. It has less than all the others. 29. On a leap year, it has 29. On a not a leap year, it has 20... 28. 28. March has how many? Um, 31. Why? Because every time you touch a knuckle, those months have 31. If you touch in between, they have 30, except for what month? Um, January? February. So do you want to try doing that again? See if you can do it. January, February, March, April, May, June. So how many days does June have? 30. 30. So that's something simple that I learned in school that I'm wanting to pass on to her. As long as your child can remember that on the knuckles is 31 and that in between is 30 except for February, then they can just use their hand to count it. And again, just, you know, when you get to July, just tell them to start over with August. And, you know, you can talk to them about how that's the only two months that, or July and August and then December and January are the only months that touch that have 31 days. So that's just something helpful that I wanted to share real quick. So thanks again for watching, and if you have any more tricks and tips on how you teach calendar days, then please leave a comment in the comment section below. We'll see you next time.